It's been a while since Donald Trump's National Security Advisor, Michael Flynn, resigned after misleading key officials about his communication with Russian diplomats. And Trump just recently named his replacement. However, we predict this new guy will only last a pitiful 23 more hours, <laughs> leaving us yet again in need of a replacement. Luckily, we're able to inform you that the next official replacement for the National Security Advisor will be, in fact, three children in a trench coat. <laughs> Three children in a trench coat for all your national security needs. <laughs> it will turn out that everybody is aware that Flynn's next replacement is just three children in a trench coat, except for Donald Trump himself. When reports come out that Trump has put three eight-year-olds in charge of national security, Trump will respond by saying, very fake news, Timothy is not three children in a trench coat. In fact, Timothy has taught me many things. <laughs> just yesterday, we were discussing national security, and Timothy told me that bombs go boom, which I never knew, and I just realized this is actually classified information. If I were Hillary Clinton, I'd lock me up. But they would never lock me up because I won so bigly. <laughs> 900 electoral college votes, which nobody has ever done before. And you can look that up. The people love me, and every person who doesn't love me is lying. He goes on to repeat the phrase, fake news, 74 times while pointing at everyone in the room. <laughs> but Trump has so many other things in store for us next week. In fact, He'll finally uphold his campaign promise to create jobs for unemployed minors. That includes grumpy, sneezy, <laughs> sleepy, doc, bashful, happy, but not dopey. He's doing 15 to life for possession. <laughs> Next, Trump will announce that he will be moving all of his future intelligence meetings to Chili's, a place of business. In other news, Chili's will be getting a large increase of Russian customers. <laughs> Marketing strategies will insist that this is probably because of Chili's new menu item, a barbecue cheeseburger with a side of curly fries and uh, American secrets. <laughs> Coming soon to one Chili's near the White House. Recently, Taco Bell introduced a brand new service, the Taco Bell Wedding. Do you or your loved one have an obsession with fake Mexican food? Are you finally ready to tie the knot but don't have enough funds for a fancy wedding? Do you have zero self-worth? then a Taco Bell wedding might be right for you. Next week, Taco Bell will offer yet another service, the Taco Bell funeral. <laughs> Did your recently deceased loved one finally kick the bucket? Do you want to mourn someone's death but while eating a 99 cent burrito? <laughs> Did you secretly hate this now dead friend or family member? <laughs> then a Taco Bell funeral might be right for you. Taco Bell will offer a large assortment of funeral options, including hard shell caskets, <laughs> soft shell caskets, <laughs> And if cre cremation is more your style, then try the Taco Bell Baja Blasted Oven. <laughs> Taco Bell, not as financially secure as you may think. <laughs> Next week, Tesla will release its new model car, and it has some fairly promising features. The car will warn you of impending danger by filling the windshield with pictures of Kim Jong-un's face, <laughs> which will be incredibly useful since the new Tesla cars are incapable of going slower than 15 miles per hour above the speed limit. These new cars will also include fully functional artificial intelligences that will continuously send text messages to your friends while you're driving, notifying them that you have a really cool car. So you don't have to put in that work yourself. This Sunday is the long-awaited Oscars, and we can give you all of the details right here before anyone else. It will all begin with claims that the Best Actor Award is in fact cursed. After it's discovered that Leonardo DiCaprio's Oscar from last year has corrupted him, like Smeagol and the One Ring, <laughs> turning him into Leonardo da Gollum. Of course, it can't be true that the Oscars are cursed, right? Or so we think. Tom Hanks will be the next actor to win the Oscar for his work on Sully, but on the way home, the trophy will somehow end up in a jet plane engine, which will force an emergency landing in the Hudson River, which everyone will call the Miracle on the Hudson again. Best Picture will go to La La Land, and jazz album sales will spike for one week, but quickly return to exactly where they were after people remember that they don't like jazz. <laughs> there will also be a spike in demands for piano lessons, and pianos across the nation won't stop playing the La La Land soundtrack. I want to be annoyed, but it's just so good. But the biggest Oscar surprise is going to be the appearance of Tommy Lauren, who will be spotted crouching underneath the stage, collecting the tears of performers as they accept their awards. These tears will be discovered to be Tommy's yearly sustenance. 
After the awards, you'll be able to watch Tommy Lauren ranting about Hollywood is filled with crybabies who can't stop babbling about winning major awards and always seem to fail to mention the troops. Open your eyes, America. Next up, UT will soon be partnering with several companies to prevent further tuition spikes. Companies will begin sponsoring classes at the university. These will include International Relations, brought to you by ExxonMobil, Fundamentals of Nutrition, brought to you by Burger King, Women's Studies, sponsored by Playboy, <laughs> and Business Laws and Ethics, sponsored by Walmart. 